R is a very powerful system for data exploration in particular. But we want financial data to work with finance. And for that, there's an excellent system package called QuantMod. Now we could get data from Quandl and other sources, but QuantMod is custom designed, as it says, a quantitative financial modeling framework. So all we have to do is click install and put in QuantumMod. Lowercase q. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to click it there. But if you haven't, do. So, once you've installed it, just go Library QuantumMod and it loads it up into the active system. Once you've loaded it up, then you can use the special fancy features that it has. So we can then go get symbols. The, the hat, GDAX I, that symbol expression comes from Yahoo Finance because that's the system that this integrates with. So if, you, if you're familiar with Yahoo Finance, you know that this means the DAX, the German stock market, or the, or the, the main index. So once you've loaded that in, you know, we can just do summary. That's the dates. So it goes from 2007 up to 2016. So it, it's very current. If you install it today, it'll be, have all the data up till today. So now with just a couple of lines, you're able to access all the shares, the indices and all kinds of information which you can play around with. For example, we can use chart series to plot the data that we have, which is pretty neat. It also has the volume. It's also aware of Bullinger bands and various technical indicators, and you can code in your own stuff. So it speeds you up. So you don't have to sit there, you know, coding all the bits and pieces. You can just think about the issue that you're interested in. You can maybe instead look around, search for patterns, since after all R is great at data exploration. So play around, look at the data, and then maybe you'll be able to spot some structures which will help you predict, which will help you make more successful trades. So just wanted to have a quick look, an introduction, so that you're aware of quantum mod. We'll be going more into it and playing around with R the next while.